Hello everyone, CG Turf here. Today we're going to be creating a desk organizer. So we're just going to be using simple primitive shapes to create this desk organizer. Um, it's a very simple thing. And I mean, I know that there might be different ways to create this, but I'm, I'm going to use this way um, as I'm actually going through it. I'm just gonna create these um I don't know what they're called. They're just I mean it's made of wires and I guess this is what holds the entire structure. I have it on my desk, so I'm just taking a look at it as I'm going. I'm just gonna hit control D to duplicate. Mm, I think this needs to be like that. And then the next thing we can uh, take this duplicate it and rotate it um, we're gonna put 90 degrees in the y-axis and then we're just gonna scale it down I'm gonna go to my top view <clears throat> I'm just gonna scale it down like this. I mean, this is not going to be detailed. I mean, this is just for like, if you want to create stuff for your scene, in this case, a desk, I think it would be, it would be fine. I'm just gonna move this down a little bit. Okay, put that here as a middle effect. This all the way here, put this there, like this. And I put this on the other side, and then I'm gonna put this. Maybe let me put it here. Mm, then I'm just gonna take these ones on top, shift select them, control D. Okay. Just like that. And I think this is the part that's the most important when we actually need to create the I don't know what you call that um, it's like a wire pattern that we need to create <coughs> so there's so many ways to do it but I'm actually just gonna take this I'm just gonna ro rotate it in the what no, I'm just gonna ro rotate it in the X. Yeah, that, that this is the right one. And let me just scale this down like that. Make it tall like this. As a matter of fact, let me actually measure using this. Like this. So, now I'm gonna take this, right click, shift, shift select, right click, and then select the options. And I want model, multiple edges. In this case, I think maybe 10. I'm just gonna put 10. And I'm gonna create just like that. I'm gonna hit four to get into wireframe. And what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna select these. Just gonna oh, I'm supposed to press Q to cancel the last command. Right click, select vertex, vertex, and then I'm just gonna select these. I'm gonna move them on the side like that. 
just like that. So but I need to I need to reinforce and oh I have to I have to deselect this relative back to, like I have to switch it back to relative. And then I'm just gonna create some edge loops. They I mean I feel like there's there's definitely an easier way to do this. But actually let me try to put it at the middle and see. Oh let me try to put it at the middle equal distance. And I wonder why it's not working. Let me see. Because I just want to create an edge loop. Um between the um oh okay so i'm supposed to use multiple edge loops use equal multiply i guess that works because that, that that's what i want yeah so you just want i should have just created more edge loops but it's fine <laughs> or maybe it wouldn't have worked that way so but anyway th this way it's fine it works this is what i want um and actually I don't think I want this last one. Okay. I think this is good. <clears throat> so what we need to do, we're gonna be duplicating this. Um and then I'm just gonna hit the scale tool. Actually on my scale, because I can see that these numbers like they are random. They are mixed up. So I'm just gonna go to, to edit. Is it edit? No no no. It's modify freeze transformation, and then I want to do this. So in this scale Z, I'm gonna press minus one. And we're gonna do that. Perfect. We're gonna select these two. Go to mesh combine. Now it's one object. And now we need to just duplicate the entire thing but what i what i want to do right now is to just measure yeah, as you can see it's overlapping here so i'm just gonna select these two and maybe do this let me just delete these faces So let me try this again like this okay I think this is fine I think this is fine so this is why I'm just taking note of this this is three point this is point three to one so I'm gonna Come here and put this here. Okay. Okay. It's a bit too thick. Let me just reduce something like that. Then we're going to select this and we're gonna go to edit duplicate special options and hmm. so we know that we want the translate to be in the z axis plus z x y z so this one and I remember it was point point three to one and right now maybe forty I'm just guessing just need to make sure everything is at zero then i'm gonna hit apply here we go so 40 isn't enough <laughs> so 40 isn't enough we actually need about i think 70 so i'm just gonna hit undo and 
put 70 hit apply Ooh. okay we're almost there <laughs> let's do 75 apply all right it it it, it became a, a little bit too much but it's fine i want to move this oh before i do that let me just combine this to make it one right then i'm just gonna move this in a little bit right click face and then i'm just gonna double click this double click that double click this double click that okay and obviously i'm just gonna hit ctrl d and duplicate this on the other side and then just gonna duplicate this I'm going to hit 90 on the y axis. I'm going to deselect some of these and delete them. I'm gonna double click that. Okay, that's fine. I think here, let me just double click this one and this one, and then I can just drag select these ones and delete them now i can just select this one duplicate this one move it on the other end duplicate one more time and then put this here oh i didn't like i didn't duplicate <laughs> that's fine I'll just put this back here <clears throat> oh yeah so I think I think this is actually good and then just gonna create a plane go to the top view I'm just gonna select just gonna drag this like that and need to move this up yep and pretty much that's it <laughs> I guess I just wanted to really oh what happened here something happened here like I I guess I really just wanted to show off the um, the duplicate special um because i know that it can be really it can be a good tool to use i don't know what i did here but what i can do is i'm just gonna double click that and then hit separate now it's one piece and i'm just gonna manually okay the manipulator is over there i'm just gonna go to modify center pivot and I'm just gonna manually duplicate this. Actually, I did the wrong thing. <laughs> I think I was supposed to, let me just do this instead. Let me separate this as well. And then take this and this one, it combine these two, and then can duplicate these two like that. That's fine. I don't know what happened when I when I made that but yeah this is I mean this is just basic it's not even like 
a model, you know, because it doesn't even have any details. But I just wanted to show you how you can make this like fence thing, how you can actually make it. Um, what you could also do is you could just use like a simple plane. Um, maybe I am going to show you that that way, like in another uh, tutorial, because you could actually just use a picture and use that instead. But for this way, for this uh, using the duplicate special, that's how you do it. Um, and if you want to do the rendering, you can just I, I'll, like I'll leave a link in the description of how you can just apply materials for Arnold um, and render your object. I hope this was helpful. And if you have any questions, don't forget to ask them in the comment section. And yeah, that's it. I'll see you on the next one. Don't forget to subscribe to get more videos. Thank you.